Hey everybody. I wanted to come on and make a second video about my mom. The first one was about uh, was about me and, and how I feel about losing her because she passed away from, uh, just recently from cancer. I was talking about my feelings, but this time, this video, I want to talk about uh, about my mother. Uh, her name was Tina, Fulton Tina Lulis Perez Rodriguez. Recently passed away. She was 82 years old here in Houston. I want to talk to you about her and who she was and all that good stuff. My mom was cool. You know, she was 82. She liked her beer. She liked her Dos Equis. She liked her Budweiser. She loved her mariachi music. That was, uh, she lived for that. She loved that stuff, you know. She, she would enjoy listening to the music, the, the, the Camino de Guanajuato, Jose Alfredo. Listen to that song when she was a little girl when she lived in Mexico, and uh, up to just up to reach to her death, we would listen to the, pull it on YouTube on my TV, and we'd listen. And she'd drink a beer and just leave my Mexico. You know, she, uh, there was a lyric, a very famous lyric, or lyrics to the song, like, "No vida la vida" or something. Like that. I don't remember the word. But Tina was cool, man. She was the centerpiece of, of everything. You know, she was cool to hang out with. You know, she was, she was, she was a feisty lady, too. Uh, she, uh, she used to be a member of the YMCA, and she, uh, she got kicked out for saying something to, to a member and for someone to, uh, to a staff member and a member. And, you know, she was feisty, man. She, she, she liked to fight. That was the thing about it, too, man. She didn't take no shit from nobody. You know, she's a little, little bitty thing, you know, 82-year-old lady up there fighting with her. Management YMCA. <laughs> that was pretty. Now that I look back, it's pretty funny. You know, she uh, she loved life to the fullest. You know, it's unfortunate she had to go. I miss her every day. I think about her. You know, and, and you know, this cancer thing is just crazy stuff. You know, but uh, yeah, she was cool. You know, she was the centerpiece. Everybody liked her. She had this way of, of doing things. She had this charm. You know, she came to this country when she was, she came to the United States when she was 14 years old with papers. And she always used to talk about, she was in Monterrey. She always used to talk about the Cerro de la Silla. That was her mountains. That was her go-to mountain. Every time she walked out her front door, she'd see it. And every time she would see a picture, she would just go, puro loquita. You know, Tina was cool, man. And I miss her. I miss hanging out with her. I miss talking to her. She was cool. And... The saludo tina para ti, you know, here's the beer and the saludo. I hope to see you someday. I love you and I miss you. I'll talk to you soon. Love you, Tina.